We're going to discuss isolation in business and how you can manage to it so it doesn't impact your decisions and your team as much in the future. Hey, rock stars, I'm JB, expert salesperson and master presenter. I'm the doctor, psychologist, and behavioral expert. This is the Entrepreneur Mastery Lab Podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the lab. I'm JB. It's good to see you all again. It's just me this week. We're in for a awesome episode. We're going to talk a little bit about isolation. If you're on our newsletter or you've spoken to the last few months, which is business owners face all the time, isolation, overwork, and blind spots. Today, I want to emphasize isolation because I got to say, this is a challenge that so many business owners go through. And we don't talk about it a lot, but picture this, you're a business owner, you're working on your business and in your business, nobody, and I mean, nobody is there for you to share the intimate details of the business with, well, you could talk to your spouse or your partner, but chances are they don't understand your business. They don't get the moving pieces. They're not a part of it. And it goes over their ears and over their head around the side. They just don't, they just don't appreciate it. You can talk to your attorneys and your accountants and your advisors and chances are you do once or twice a year, but do they really intimately know your business? No, chances are they don't. So when you know what to do, they can help you vet out that decision, but they're not necessarily helping you figure out what to do. In other words, you're on an Island. And if this is speaking to you, then that's really normal because as a business owner, we're often on an island. It's just us and there's nobody to run ideas across. And the challenge with this is, is multiple. When we're isolated, it's easy to get burnt out and be emotionally exhausted. When we're isolated, it's hard to make difficult decisions. Decision making becomes more difficult. And when we're isolated, a lot of times we get stuck in a box. We have one way of looking at things. We look at it that way. And that's the only way we can look at it. We struggle to look at it from other perspectives. And so isolation can really influence and impact our businesses really strongly. And what's scary is when you think about this as small business owners, if you run a business and you've got multiple employees and and locations, and, and you've got a mature, complex business, the decisions you make a lot of times, man, those decisions, they matter. And a decision can have consequences that could mean a damaging quarter. It could mean a damaging year. It could totally shift what the valuation of your business looks like. Your own mental state can be really impacted here. So isolation is a real challenge that we've got to deal with. And as business owners, we've got to learn to manage to it. So as we know it's going to potentially burn us out, emotionally exhaust us, it's going to put us in a position where we're overworked and it's going to influence our decision-making. What do we do and how do we solve for this? And the number one thing I think a business owner needs to do is a business owner needs a, a diverse community around them that truly understands what's going on in the business and can help an owner work through it. And from my perspective, that means an advisory board of some sort, a, a group of people that are in similar places, ideally in different businesses that can offer insight Building out a business family so you do have somebody to turn to is really going to help minimize the impact of isolation. And it's going to do it across the board. It will help reduce your the emotional exhaustion, the stress and anxiety that comes from being a business owner will be reduced. The ability to make decisions will be streamlined and the different perspectives are accomplished here. So that's one way you can really effectively deal with isolation. The other way you can deal with isolation uh, is to find a mentor or coach, somebody who's been there and done that and knows some of the challenges and struggles that you're going through. Somebody that's you're willing to uh, let hold you accountable 
to what you want to accomplish in your business. Uh, and this is a fantastic solution to deal with isolation because this will this will mean that you're having meaningful conversations with, with somebody consistently about your business and what you're doing. And if they've been there and they've done it before, especially as a mentor, then you know that they'll be able to help you see how they, their challenges that were similar to yours and what they would have maybe done different so you don't make those same mistakes. So solution number one, advisory board, no brainer. Number two, coach or mentor who's been there and done that. The third thing you can do is really try to get your business involved from a community perspective uh, and get your employees involved from a community perspective. Isolation oftentimes means that we struggle to, to delegate and hand over control as well. And that's why so often we'll feel like it's on us. So if we're a business owner and we're dealing with isolation, believe it or not, one of the best things we can do is lift up the people underneath us. Now, some people listening might struggle with that, and that's okay because a lot of times we're not prepared to lift up the people underneath us. We have trouble letting go of that. And then sometimes, of course, the people underneath us, the people we have on our team, aren't the right people that we want to lift up. Even if we have the right position and that position is filled, it doesn't mean the right butts in their seat. And so lifting up the people around us is sometimes a lot more challenging than we would think. I would argue it's sometimes a lot more challenging than finding a mentor or finding an advisory board to join with, but it really will help manage to isolation. And here's the crazy thing. When you manage to isolation, you really actually deal with this and address it. You see significant change in your business, of course, but probably more importantly, you see it in the rest of your life. Because when we're dealing with isolation, it's common for us to shrink into ourselves a little bit. It's common for us to lose our enthusiasm over the things that we used to find enjoyment in. And it's really common for us to be more irritable and to be more reactive. In other words, the people in your life around you and your life outside of the business will considerably benefit from dealing with isolation. If we manage to it, it's not just the business, it's everything around us, everything that we touch and that touches us that is able to be positively benefit, benefited from this. So it's a big deal. You address the stress and anxiety and you reduce that down. And everybody in your life notices that. You make better decisions more easily. You avoid things like ruminating, which is a nasty, vicious cycle we fall into sometimes as business owners. And you avoid overthinking, which is a great way for us to procrastinate on a decision. And ultimately, if you're lucky, you gain better perspective so that moving forward, you identify more and better opportunities and avoid more distractions which is a win all around. So if you are in business and you're an owner and you're really trying to manage to your business and your life around your business, take a look at isolation. You might be experiencing the symptoms of it, even if you don't realize it. And no matter what, as a business owner, we need to be self-aware so that we can manage to that. So hopefully in this episode, you took away at least three ways to manage the isolation. Again, if you want to manage the isolation, join an advisory board diverse perspectives, business owners that become family. Find a coach or mentor, somebody who's been there, done that, can walk you through how they manage to those challenges and build up and lift up the team underneath you so that you're not on your own on an island. You do these things, you'll see a remarkable difference in your business, not just today, tomorrow, but into the future, long-term sustainable success. That's what you're going to get. What do you think? How do you manage isolation in your business? I'd love to hear from you. Give me a shout. Let us know. I'm JB. This is the EML. If you haven't yet, give us a like, subscribe, follow. We appreciate it. We do this for you. And if you want to check out any of our great events coming up, hit us up, get on our newsletter. You'll get access to our blog, our weekly exercises, our challenges, topic of the week, and any upcoming events that we happen to have. Until the next time, JB out.